Guys, I have just landed at Expo. It is a city with over 200 buildings. In this city, every building belongs to a country. This is Egypt. This is Morocco, the United Kingdom, and many more. But there is one small building that doesn't belong to any country. And it's one of the most expensive buildings in the whole town. A hundred million dollars. And no one knows about it. Why does this not belong to any country? And what's hiding inside? This is the good place. It's a building that does good in the world. Expo 2020 gave this small team a hundred million dollars to spend. And instead of spending it on a construction, they spent it on humans. They found humans around the world with businesses that do good and literally gave them the money. Every project that we found, we funded $100,000 to $500,000 to make their project a reality. What did they do with that money? They invested in people, in communities, and in solutions that change the world. This is as good as it sounds. For example, they gave money to Kitty from the UK to help her build a vaccine backpack. It has a cooler that can keep vaccines alive to deliver to the furthest places on Earth, like in Madagascar. They gave money to Hans from Denmark, who built an app to help blind people see by connecting them with others who can see. It's called Be My Eyes. Be My Eyes is an app enabling the blind and visually impaired to see through the eyes of sighted volunteers. So we are basically crowdsourcing eyes to those in need. They gave money to Neil from Thailand to make a new type of rice that is more nutritious, abundant, and easy to grow. So farmers can now make more rice. So at CIM Organic, we use a sustainable and scalable market-driven solution to get rid of this poverty for these small-scale farmers. They gave money to Atli in the Emirates who made a new liquid that you spray on desert sand to make the sand more fertile. So uh, we are looking at agriculture uh, and the whole idea of the uh, solution is to save water and to get better yields and better crops. They give money to Salma from Ghana who helps women sell their crops to the outside world. And they gave money to Jamila from Morocco, who put nets on top of mountains to harvest fog and turn it into drinkable water. Sometimes we drive 10 to 12 hours in the car to find just one person with a great idea that can change the world. And they've been doing this every day for five years. We searched for people that spent hours on their desk and working in the fields, and we brought them all in one place called The Good Place, that have an intention of doing good and doing good with their hands. They are giving a hundred million dollars to more than hundreds of projects and you'll never know that from just walking by this tiny building at Expo. In a few days, Expo will end, but the impact should not end. What this team did here will impact millions of people for decades to come. They are the best example. If you want to change the world, invest in humans.